Hey guys, very active YouTuber here. Okay, but seriously, the lack of Skyblock updates has made it very hard for me to make content. Maybe it's because I'm the least creative person on the planet, I don't really know. But does anyone remember when we were promised weekly Skyblock updates? I remember being overly excited every week for a new update, and they had already broken their promise on like the second week, so I knew it was just downhill from there. Now it's been almost two months since we got our last update, and from the leaks I've seen, it's just another Slayer boss, which I'm sure the community will just love. Anyway, anyway, I'll get on with the reason you clicked on this video, to see me deal 100 million damage. Now, in the past, I made a video showing off how to deal 150,000 damage, and at the time I thought that was a lot, but it turns out I suck at everything. Because within a couple hours, I had people sending me screenshots of them dealing 500,000 damage, so... <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Now, I was also informed about a damage bug with the fishing rod, but I didn't find out about this until long after it was patched. But basically, for a day or so, if you use the shredder, it would just completely bug out, and for some reason, just deal millions and millions of damage. Like, just look at the screenshot. This man did... 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3... 108 million damage with a fishing rod. I, I don't really know how this is possible, but it has completely ruined the highest damage leaderboard. Like, j just look here. Almost 500 million damage done by this fishing rod glitch. So the sad thing is that we won't be able to deal the most damage ever done in Skyblock. But we will be able to deal the most damage ever done legit in Skyblock. Because my strategy does not involve abusing any glitches. We are 100% in the clear and I'm going to take that as a victory. So the way I plan to deal 100 million damage is by abusing small animals. I'm being completely serious. The whole strategy is basically just dangling an innocent dog off a cliff for several hours and then we just let it fall to its death. And yes, the way I'm going to be dealing millions and millions of damage is from fall damage. I know it's not as cool as using a sword or anything, but a lot of planning went into this and in the end we are inflicting a lot of pain onto small animals. So here's how this works. We're going to be building up fall damage over time. You see, the way fall damage works is that the longer you're in the air falling, the more damage you'll take. That's why when you jump off a small cliff, you take less damage than if you jumped off a bigger one. Now imagine this. We take this dog and we hang it off a ledge, but it never hits the ground. So the damage will just keep building and building because he's just bouncing around. And then we drop him and see how much damage he takes. That strategy was shown to me by Hasco a few months ago, and we would basically just steal a wolf from the castle, lead it up the mountain, and then hang it from the top. Hasco estimated that if I sat in the lobby holding the wolf off the cliff for 12 hours, it would take around 75 million damage. But this is where I'm glad that I'm a very, very lazy person. Because a few days before I planned to make the video, the foraging islands were released. But the foraging islands that are meant for just chopping down trees and gathering wood also had a secret doggo cave hidden behind a waterfall. Now this is actually a really good thing, since for some reason on Hypixel, the more health a mob has, the more damage it'll take when we drop it. And it just happens to be that the new wolves in the foraging islands have almost 30,000 more health than the ones in the castle. So that should easily put us over 100 million damage. There was only one problem. People would just try and kill the dog. You see, when we tried this on the main island, no one would ever come up to the top of the mountain since there was really no reason to. But that's a different story on the foraging island. Everything is so tightly packed together and everything on the island has a purpose that there's really not a good spot to safely hang the wolf. I figured if there isn't a safe place on this island, I would have to somehow find a way to get a wolf to a different one. So I put Knockback 2 on a wooden sword, brewed up a couple of Knockback 4 potions, and then led a dog out of the cave and towards the main island. Alright, so the one that we're looking for is going to be the Soul of the Alpha, because it, uh, it's, it's got the most health. Is that- it, I found it. Alright, that was pretty easy. Let's hope this guy that's shooting done- Can you, like, not shoot the wolf? Alright, actually, follow me. Follow me. He's gonna kill it, isn't he? He- he's shooting it. Oh, I hate life. Alright, there's another one right here. He's probably gonna shoot this one, but it's not in the same spot, so hopefully he doesn't look in my direction. Nope, he's found his way over. Uh, dude! You abs- Alright, can I get it up here before he, like- Before he can get- I think he's left it alone. No, he's- He's chasing it. Okay, no, he's- He spawned a- He's- He spawned a boss. We're good. Alright. Let's blow up this and let's get him out. Alright, let's hope none of the fishermen kill it, because I- He's running towards it now, isn't he? Please. Don't come for me. Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good. Alright, let's get him on top of this rock, I think? Because it seems like the rock is the closest thing to the main island. Alright. No, don't. Oh, he ran off. All right, so I'm going to drink this KB4 potion, and, uh, and I've got knockback too. All right, so I'm going to... Okay, that actually wasn't even close. 
Alright, so we're gonna try that again, because I think if I get a double hit on the wolf, he'll take a lot more knockback. Alright, let's go for round two. Alright, I'm gonna push you to this edge, like the very, very edge. Alright, let's see if this works. No, no, that's that's not even close. Alright, I'm gonna try it again. If this doesn't work, I'll have to think of a better idea. I, it's so hard to get a double hit with KB2, because the wolf just goes flying before I can get the second hit. Not even close. Alright, I don't want to lose the potion effects. Alright boys, so I've done some thinking and I've come to the conclusion that this isn't going to work. But don't worry, I've come up with a completely new strategy. So instead of using the knockback sword, I'm going to try using this punch bow with aiming 5. And what I hope will happen is that the homing arrow can hit the wolf mid-air so that we can get the double hit, sending it flying over to the island. I also found out that the spider's den is way closer than the hub island is, so we shouldn't have a problem getting the wolf over. I'm kind of nervous. I actually think this will work. Got the punch bow, I've got arrows, all right. Please aiming work. That didn't work. All right, take two. I'm gonna try to hit him actually towards the island and not like straight into the void. Line him up. Oh. Dude, that was so easy, let's go! Double hit actually worked. All right, follow me. This next part might be a bit confusing, but I'll try my best to explain it. So to deal the most amount of damage possible, we want to join a lobby when it first comes online and stay there until it closes. Now the best way to find out how long a lobby has been open is to check the day counter in the F3 menu. Each day lasts 20 minutes and lobbies restart after around 12 hours. Now there's no easy way to get into day zero servers, which is what I'll be calling lobbies that just open from now on. At first, I just tried going back and forth on the launch pad until I got in, but it just wasn't working. And after a few days of trying that on and off, Pigacle got the entirety of Skyblock shut down. Now this may seem bad at first, I mean how can I get into a lobby when the entirety of Skyblock is shut down, so why am I mentioning it? Well you see, every Skyblock server is offline, so when they do come back, every lobby will be opening for the first time, so it's guaranteed that I can get into a day zero lobby as long as I join when Skyblock comes back online. A couple hours pass and Skyblock is reopened, so I go to join Skyblock and I couldn't join. Now the admins had stated that everyone online at the time of the dupe glitch wouldn't be able to join Skyblock until they investigated and found everyone who took part in it. Now I wasn't online when that happened, and I was very confused, so I messaged an admin who told me if anyone on your co-op was online, it blocked everyone from joining. Which is, I guess, very understandable since they don't want people spreading the duped items. I'm still mad I lost the perfect opportunity to do this, but what can you do? Now at this point, a few days had passed, so I decided to try and lobby swap, and I actually got into a day zero lobby. I got the wolf, I shot it over to the spider's den, and I began hanging it. And after about an hour of waiting, I noticed that the day counter was still at zero. Then I realized there was a spooky event going on. And do you want to guess what doesn't happen during spooky events? The day and night cycle! So since there was no way to tell how long the lobby had been up for, I decided that it would be best that I don't risk wasting my day just to fall short of 100 million damage, so I jumped off the cliff and just cried myself to sleep. Then when I woke up the next morning, this happened. I'm taking it, I'm taking it. It's a day one, I'm- it's- it's a 20 minute difference. Please work, please work. <gasps> Heal up now. I, I can't I can't afford to lose this. So yep, this is where I sat for 12 hours, dangling a dog off a cliff just to watch him fall down and die. But I didn't do it alone. I had a cute friend named Dora the Explorer that found me and kept me company for around an hour. I think that he thought he was being sneaky, but at least he didn't try to kill the dog like some people in previous attempts. Now I'm not gonna lie, I didn't record much during this. There wasn't a whole lot to show since I was doing the same exact thing the whole time, and I wanted to stay focused on not getting AFK kicked since I had lost a 4 hour attempt to that a few days earlier. But finally, after 12 hours of waiting, it was time to drop the wolf. Oh! Server reboot 60 seconds! Alright, I'm not gonna wait, I'm just gonna jump off. Are you- it was at 63 million damage. Are you- are you kidding me? I- I tested this. I made sure it would deal 100 mil. I tested this! Are you kidding me? 
Dude, all right, well, now at least we have a trophy for the biggest time loss of my f***ing life. I'll be the first to admit that I'm very disappointed I didn't deal 100 million damage. When I originally tested this, I based the damage off of a runic soul of the alpha since all runic mobs have four times the health. But I later abandoned trying to find the runic version since it would require too much luck to get one to spawn in the first 20 minutes of a lobby being open, and I guess I forgot to adjust the damage. So 100 million damage is possible, but the amount of luck you need to get it makes it almost impossible. But hey, almost 64 million damage is still very good. It's the 12th most damage ever dealt in Skyblock history, and the most damage ever dealt without using bugs or glitches. Now as for the wood that the wolf dropped, I'm gonna display it on my island, so feel free to come and find it if you want to. Now I do have one question. If I hung a wolf for 12 hours and it did 64 million damage, this 50 million flower minion has been hanging for 5 months. How much damage would he take? So that's where I'm gonna end this video. If you liked it and you wanna see me do more dumb stuff, then be sure to like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys later.